Welcome to this 11th video of real numbers of standard 9. In previous videos we have seen what is a sir, how to write a simplest form, how can we compare the search, how to do operations on search. While doing so, whenever we have got the answer, it is, uh, it is customary to write the uh, denominator of the search as a rational number. As it is customary to write the denominator of a rational number as a positive rational number. For example, if the number, if we give SI minus 3 upon minus 5, we write it as 3 upon 5. Means we write the denominator as positive. For that, we know that we, have, we multiply by minus 1. When we multiply the denominator by minus 1, we multiply the numerator also by minus 1 and we write like this and for example suppose it is suppose it is 5 upon minus 7 then we write multiplying by minus 1 to the both numerator denominator we write it minus 5 upon 7 so we do not write this uh, rational number as 5 upon minus 7 but we write it as minus 5 upon 7 similarly by writing the sir the denominator of the Sir, part should be rational. So it is customary. So how can we write this that we are going to see? Okay, let's now the sir uh, while learning this rationalization of denominator, we are going to learn in two steps. First, we will learn to rationalize uh, the monomial sir. Monomial sir. What is the monomial sir? Monomial is this one term. Okay. For that, we are going to solve uh, question number 9 from practice set 2.3. Rationalize the denominator. Okay. What is the given question over here? So, question number 9, I am starting over here. 3 upon square root of 5. Okay. Now, we can see that numerator is a rational, but denominator is a rational number. Now, to rationalize this monomial, what we have to do? We have to multiply by its rationalizing factor. What is this rationalizing factor? For understanding what rationalizing factor, let's take one example here. Suppose it, uh, I suppose I give you the rational number say square root of 2. How can we this become a rational number? So if we multiply this square root of 2 by its square root of 2, let's not say is equal to. If when square root of 2 is multiplied by square root of 2, we get it square root of 4 and square root of 4 is a 2. Okay. So, in generally, means square root of a into square root of a, that is square root of a, the whole square, we get it a. So, when it is given in the form of square root of a as a monomial, if we multiply by square root of a, we get a. But is it necessary that we need to multiply by the same number every time. Means for example, if the rational number is given square root of 8. Okay. Of course, by this we multiply by square root of 8. Suppose we multiply square root of 8. By square root of 8, we can get it 8. But it is not required that every time we have to multiply by that. Now as square root of 8 can be written as simplest form. as Because we know it is 4 to za. And square root of 4 is what? 2 root 2. So, 2 root 2 is the simplest form of square root of 8, where 2 is a rational and square root of 2 is irrational. So, even if we multiply square root of 8 by square root of 2, we can get it 8 into 2 at the square root side, which we can get square root of 16 and we can get it 4. Okay. So, it is not necessary that every time we should multiply with the same number. If you are given the rational number in, is in such a form that it's one of the factors uh, is a perfect square and you can give it simplest form in that so find for simplest form and in that simplest form whichever is a rational part multiply by the same rational number to get it rational number so in this way we have to do it so here if you observe it is square root of 5 which has no other factor so this 3 and square root of 5, that is numerator and denominator, should be multiplied by square root of 5. Okay. 
So what we keep getting is the numerator is going to be 3 square root of 5 upon square root of 5 into square root of 5 is going to be 5. So here we have got the denominator as a rational number. So this is our answer. <laughs> so we have rationalized the denominator. Okay. So in this way we have done the first. What is the second? The second one is 1 upon square root of 14. Now what are the factors of 14? 14? 14's factors are 2, 7. When a 2 is neither a perfect square nor 7, so we do not we do not have 14 as a any one of the factor which is a perfect square. So we have to keep as it is. So 1 upon square root of 14, this should be multiplied by square root of 14. And when we multiply it over here, so 1 into square root of 14 will remain square root of 14 and this will become 14. Okay. So in this way we have rationalized the denominator. See what about fourth sum? Which is given 6 upon 9 square root of 3. Now 9 square root of 3 is a form of mixer where 9 is a rational number and 3 is irrational number. So we can, first of all we can actually uh, we can divide this 9, that's 3, 2's are 6, 3, 3's are 9, and square root of 3. But it doesn't matter, it will not change our rationalizing factor. We have just simplified over here. And now if we multiply by square root of 3 to the numerator and denominator, this numerator is going to be 2 square root of 3 and divided by this 3 as it is. And the product of square root of 3 into square root of 3 is going to be 3. So your answer is going to be 2 square root of 3 divided by 3, 3 is a 9. So this can be your rationalizing the denominator. In this way, we can do the, the uh, rationalization of the monomial. When the monomial is in the denominator. So in this way, we can do it. Now, when you have uh, binomial, means it either sum of two irrational numbers, or say subtraction of two irrational numbers in the denominator. How can we rationalize the denominator? Let's see that. So now we are going to see the second part, rationalizing the binomial. Now we can see the second part, rationalize the binomial. Sir. As we found first, what is the rationalizing factor? of the monomial cert, here first we will try to find what is the rationalizing factor of a binomial cert. So suppose binomial cert, suppose, suppose we are taking the square root of 7 plus square root of 2. This is the addition of 2 irrational number as we have here two terms we call it as binomial. Now to get it, it into rational, what we have to do? We have to take help of the identity A plus B into a minus b which gives us a square minus b square. Okay. If a and b both are irrational or any one of them is irrational, a square and b square are going to be rational. Okay. So square of an irrational number is always rational. Therefore, you can get this a square and b square rational number. Hence, its difference is also a rational. So we have to use this property. I mean, suppose the given, given binomial is 7 plus root 2, its rationalizing factor will be this having same term, 7, 7, root 7 square root of 7 and square root of 2. The only thing you have to change if you are this addition in the given, then you have to take the subtraction. So when you multiply by this uh, rationalizing factor of this, which is called as a conjugate also, okay? So conjugate of the given this binomial is this binomial. So these two binomials are conjugate of each other. Okay. That means the terms are same. Only there is a sign difference between if there is addition here you have to take subtraction. If given is subtraction then you have to take the addition. So you can say check that it is using this identity. It is square, of, square root of 7 minus it is square of square root of 2. Now what is square of square root of 7? It is 7 and minus this is going to be 2. Now 7 minus 2 will get it 5. So in this way, when you multiply the given binomial by its conjugate, you can get its uh, converted into rational number. 
Now let's see how can we do in this practice set 2.4. Now practice set 2.4, question number 2, where we have to do the same thing, rationalizing the denominator. Let's write that first, 1 upon square root of 7 plus square root of 2. Okay. Now as this is a binomial, we are going to do exactly same, but this we are not going to do in the denominator, we are going to multiply it to the numerator also. So here, writing the original numerator and denominator and now let's multiply by the rationalizing factor of this bracket that is conjugate of that square root of 7 minus square root of 2 and here also square root of 7 minus square root of 2. Okay. So 1 into anything is going to remain as it is square root of 7 minus square root of 2 but in the denominator as we have seen here we have to do the same thing. It's a square of square root of 7 minus square of square root of 2 using identity a plus b into a minus b as a square minus b square and here square root of 7 minus square root of 2 is going to be 7 minus 2 square root of 7 minus square root of 2 as it is divided by 5. My dear students here we need to understand that we cannot subtract the square root of 7 and square root of 2 because they are not like such. Their orders are same but the radical part is not same. So you have to keep this as it is. This is not going to become square root of 5. Okay. Here sometimes should not go wrong and they thought, they think that it's square root of 5 and then upon 5. So this is wrong. Please do not go for this type of mistakes. Okay. So this way we have done question number 1. So we have rationalized the denominator. Okay fine. We got a rational number in the numerator. That's okay. So this is the first question. Now we are going to solve two more questions based on this. Similar to this. Let's see the second sum. Which is 3 upon 2 times square root of 5 minus 3 times square root of 2. Okay. Now here, whatever the numerator and denominator, let's write it. 2 square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 2. Now here we need to multiply by the rationalizing factor that is conjugate of the given binomial. That is we need to copy the same terms that is 2 root square 2 into square root of 5 and 3 into square root of 2. But only here if it is minus we have to take it plus. Similarly here also we have to take whatever bracket we have got here 2 square root of 5 plus 3 times square root of 2. So now here let's keep as it is 3 into 2 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 2. But here it is going to be square of 2 square root of 5 the whole square minus 3 square root of 2 is square. So copying the numerator as it is no change in the numerator. You can copy is as it is. What is the square of 2? It is 4 into square of square of square root of 5 it is 5. 2 square 4 but square square of the square root of 5 is simple 5. And here 3 things are 9 into this 2. So if you see 4 5s are 20 minus 18. So 3 times 2 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 2. And if we simplify directly 4 5s are 20 minus 18 it is going to be 2. two. So this is your answer. Now you cannot divide it further. So you have to keep this as answer. So in this way you have rationalized the uh, denominator. Okay. Now let's solve one more sum where in I have selected these three sums specifically because here in the numerator is 1, here it is 3 other than 1 and here again we have one more binomial of search. So let's solve this third sum. When you understand these three sums you can solve this type of any sum by your own. Okay. So this is the third sum here we are doing for rationalization of denominator. Third is square root of 5 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 5 plus square root of 3. Okay. So this is the given question. Let's copy the numerator and denominator as it. Now we have to multiply this by its conjugate. If you observe now here I have put brackets. Initially it was not bracket but here I have put bracket. Because when we want to multiply the denominator and denominator has two terms. So it 
when it is to be multiplied to both, we need to put a bracket. Similarly, here we have to put the bracket. Now, what is the conjugate of the denominator? The square root of 5, square root of 3 is going to be the same. But here as it is plus, here it should be minus. And whatever bracket we have multiplied to the denominator, same we have to multiply in the numerator also. Okay. So, when you multiply this, now if you observe, you got the same bracket in the numerator. My square root of minus 5 minus 3, square root of 5 minus square root of 3. So, in a way, you have got square of this bracket. So, you can use identity of A minus B the whole square. That is, what is the identity? A minus B the whole square, which is equal to A square minus 2AB plus B square. So, using this identity here, we can say square root of 5 the whole square minus 2 times square root of 5 into square root of 3, 2AB plus b square, that is square root of 3, the whole square. And denominator, it is a plus b into a minus b, that is a square minus b square. Square root of 5, the whole square, minus square root of 3, the whole square. So here you will get 5 minus 2 times, what is the product of this? 5 3 is a 15. As for multiplication, we need to be ordered equal. Radical need not to be equal, we can multiply this radical part. Under the square root sign, 5 is a 15 and plus this is going to be 3 upon this is 5 minus 3. So, what is this 5 plus 3? These are the like terms. We can write 5 plus 3 is going to be 8 minus 2 times square root of 15 upon 2. Okay, 5 minus 6. Now, please do not think that you can cancel 2 and 2 here. No. Because as there is a subtraction between these two terms, you cannot cancel this 2 with this 2. So, for that, what you have to do? You have to take 2 common from the numerator. If you take 2 common, then what is the uncommon part? 2, how many is a 8? It is 2, 4 is a 8. Minus 2 has taken here. So, remains only square root of 15. So, these are the factors of this numerator dividing by your 2. Now, you can cancel these 2 ones are because there is a product in between. When it is product, then only you can cancel like this. So, it is the, so the answer is now 4 minus square root of 15. So, this is upon 1 we need not to write. So, in this way we have learned how to rationalize the denominator. Okay. Whether it is monomial or whether it is a binomial. I hope you have understood this concept. If you understood this properly, like this, please like, give me comments, forward it. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.